Russia failed on Tuesday in a bid to stop the United Nations extending staff benefits to all same-sex couples after a UN General Assembly Budget Committee voted 80 to 43 against the proposal. There were 37 abstentions and 33 countries did not vote. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon said in July that the United Nations would recognize all same-sex marriages of its staff, allowing them to receive UN benefits. Previously, staff members' personal status was determined by the laws of their country of nationality. But the United Nations now recognizes all same-sex couples married in a country where it is legal, regardless of their nationality. Russia wanted the 193-member General Assembly Fifth Committee, which deals with the UN budget, to overturn Ban's decision and had been threatening to put the measure to a vote since December. Russia claims the administrative decision will impose a new standard on member states. But this is not true. The bulletin changes the UN's practice and does not seek to change member states' domestic legislation. The sponsor claims the bulletin will carry significant costs. However, the UN Office of Human Resources Management has informed us that there have been no financial implications as of yet and that any future costs would be insignificant. Russia triggered global criticism in 2013 when it banned spreading gay propaganda to children. Critics denounced the law as discriminatory and said it is a curb on rights to free speech and assembly. Russian President Vladimir Putin says there is no gay discrimination in Russia, which decriminalized homosexuality in 1993. Saudi Arabia, China, Iran, India, Egypt, Pakistan and Syria were among the countries that voted in favor of Russia's proposal.